Okay, today we're talking about timetable. Timetable will stretch over a few videos, uh, so it won't be uh, very long. Uh, to make it short, so it won't be a bit boring. Timetable, you can create many timetables right here. Okay, don't worry, you can create. You come here, let's say you want to create another one, just click another one, let's say I put it called 5, like that. Then you click add, then you copy another timetable right here. You can see that the same setting. Right, just a different name. It's time to write something like code. Remember, when it comes to timetable, here only times. Okay, I type it out easier for understanding. Okay, here only time. The time. Okay, not. Please make note. Not taking into consideration of, of day. Okay, day. Not taking the date or dates. So this one is create a timetable. So reply to which uh, day or apply to which employee is not set by here. Here is only set the timetable. Then later on stage you need to assign to different uh, employee or different date. Alright. So this one just create a timetable purely on timetable. As you can see, it is up here got fixed and we got flexible. As for today, I only talking about fixed. I'm not going to the flexible, right? Fixed and flexible. So we got timetable here. As I go through here, you put a name right here. You can create many. You can put any alphabets, but please don't put any like uh finding symbols or what not included. I mean, especially you can put a dash, but not like something like this. Okay, please don't put it all this. Okay, or others, something like this, or less, or whatever, because it will affect the later on in your report. So please bear in mind, don't include, try to minimize your wording, put words, letters, letter dash is okay. Try to avoid others, letters will be alright, or bracket. You just try to use, not use bracket, just put dash will be alright. Just try to minimize the letters and don't put too long the name, don't make it long, try to make it short. Right, so we we'll all right. So now, about this one. So, if you come to a timetable, you should have working standard working time. You should have, like this one. I put working from eight o'clock until six o'clock. Six o'clock, right? To six o'clock. Our timetable is this one is a time table for round clock. And it only can go up to 24 hours only. 24 hours only. And for a point of view, please don't put your time like this. Or 24 like this. Please don't put. The system will not know go to where. Certain computer like a higher range of Xiong may know. As of this one, no, don't put it. Try to maintain a uh, different time. If people are working at midnight whatsoever, try to make a difference something like this. Sorry. Okay, start time, right? So trying to make a difference on that part. And remember, our time table only go up to 24 hours. And so those working longer than that, sorry, that one will be special customized and uh, quite happy uh, it's best to do that, all right? So this is your standard working hour. And this is to indicate in the report, just to indicate a report that uh, if you more than that, that will show red in color. As by default setting, we always put zero. If let's say you put five, then you're coming late by five minutes. After five minutes, then report will show red. That's all only, okay? Like that. It's just purpose for that only. And also for early exit as well. So when it comes to timetable, you must bear in mind your clock-in period time. Your clock-in period. It's very important you understand why it's clock-in period time. Okay, when it comes to clock in, this one you can see there's beginning, beginning in and ending in. It means the period of clocking time. So the clocking time period is called this one in period. Okay, in period clocking time. So let's say your worker come up, uh, you set the time from 07 until what time? Until 11.59. So that is the time for clocking for coming working. So how about the workers they say, hey, uh, this worker come very early in the morning, come 6 o'clock. The system at the device will still take in this 6 o'clock. 
But when it comes to report generation, report calculation, it will not take it into consideration. Because why? Your timetable setting is set for 7 o'clock. So if you want this one taking, then change this timetable to 06 or to 0, 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay? If some for the workers come, early working, early clocking. Okay, you can set it like this. Alright? Set it like this, 5 o'clock in the morning. Then the next one is your clock out period time. Your clock out period, you can put at 4 o'clock. This one is right here, put at 4 o'clock. Okay, now it's called out, out period time. Okay, so you can put a clock, clock out at 16, that means 4 o'clock in the afternoon, to 23.59. Okay, they're working late. And this one time including the OT time. So the clock up maybe, oh sorry, not 25, there's not 25 here. So it should be 23. All right, to 23.59. So how about uh, people that work after midnight or only come by grill OT? All right, as I explained earlier, we can go around maximum only 24 hours. So here is five o'clock already. So the maximum you can go only up to 0459. That's all. It cannot go over than that already. Alright? You can put other maximum. Then after that time, then within this time before 459, they must clock out. It's this time they must clock out. Okay? Before 459. You can put it that, but don't overlap here. Cannot overlap. Alright? Overlap then system is complicated already. Alright? Cannot crash with each other. Alright? This is the modest thing. So the next thing is your rest period time. As a rest period time, you put from let's say that will be off rest time. Okay, rest time. You want okay for first is rest. 12 o'clock. It's here set until 14. It means for 12 o'clock until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh sorry, 3 30. Right, 2 2 30. So the maximum rest time you set here is 60 minutes. So what do you mean? It means that is a clock, clock period for resting. This one is called period for resting. Okay. For rest. Okay. This one is for cash period. So the employee will go out after 12, they will clock out the bus minute clock within 60 minutes time. That means for before two that means uh before two o'clock here, I mean 14 30 must clock in. If they clock after 2 30 then how 14 30 then how? Of course, the system will still calculate. But for here, you cannot calculate why you don't set the 415. So, must see what time come back. Then the system will calculate is over already. As a mid-lesson person, coming very late. Then maybe about 3 o'clock. Then you pay this one to 15. Okay, 3, 3, 0. Then the system will capture in. Will capture in this one is go to rest time. But we show the redness. Lah, because it's so late, we need more than 60 minutes. Alright? If they clock out, let's say they clock at 3 o'clock, then you, they will have to, you have to make a, here and make some adjustment, no? Make it clock it back again. Alright? So this part right here. So the next one we go to is for advanced setting. One, this one, this one you can set really. Okay, we kind of advanced setting. Advanced setting, uh, some company have this setting, some company don't have. Industry mostly people have that. Lah. Okay, from our experience. So, overtime before work hours. This one overtime before work means that, let's say I, my work start at 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay, work o'clock in the morning. I clock in at 7 o'clock. Right? You want to call overtime before work. If you think overtime before work, I put here 29. That means if the minimum clock 30 minutes will entitle. Here, you can put like 60 minutes. Mostly coming put 60 minutes around there lah. Because for people that come out early for work. They come early for work. If they come early for work, then they entitled. Let's say I put 7 o'clock. Then they entitled to 60 minutes overtime. This one is our overtime before work start. Okay. Some probably have this one, have this issue. At this setting, so there is this way to set it. This one setting here to near me, my minimum to near minutes. You maximum can click is up to 16 minutes only, kind of more than that. All right, this one for settings. Then come to break before overtime. This one means that you take this one, 
Okay. Then we come to working time. Okay, you are finished your work at, at this. So if I set right here 30 minutes, if I set 30 minutes, then I clock, let's say I work until 7 o'clock. That means I have uh, one hour, lah, one hour or 60 minutes over time. Okay, but because I set here 30 minutes break before all time, then the system will minus out 60 minutes, minus out 30 minutes, then it go to 30 minutes over time. Minus this one is minus, but this one break before all time, there's no need to do any clocking, the system will automate minus the 30 minutes. Okay, for this one setting. That is how it works for here. If you that timetable don't have any, cannot claim for uh, overtime at all, then you untick all these three untick. You cannot claim. You can claim then take it, but please don't change here. There here set it as one 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 will do. Don't change it. Set it as one. If you set it as something like a one point five, then at the OT level you put here one point five. As you mean, let's say you put with one point five. You put in one point five. Then we're going to go to the normal OT. Let's say I work 30 minutes. Then the whole time will calculate as 45 minutes. Why? Because 30 times 1.5 equal to 45 minutes. So don't change it. Now normal people apply it. Mostly they use like this only. Right? So don't change it at all. We also have second rest at all. Second rest is set right here. The, the logic also works exactly like right here. Okay? Now, come to advanced rules. Everyone also apply the certain thing you need to apply onto it. Like if you late, are you gonna work minus overtime or minus overtime? Then any work time or early exit also same. Okay, it doesn't apply to here five minute whatever. It means that if you not late one minute, minus one minute. If you not because you here set five minute, no have nothing. This one here this side is only for reporting the indicator only. All right, the indicator only. As for this part here. If how many minutes it will minus it does not effect on here. So when it comes to right here, then remember when it comes this one late late or early, you will let's say that day you late for 10 minutes. Okay, like 10 minutes, and your company say you want to uh, minus want to accumulate up that only minus. It doesn't work that way. Okay, you that late will be okay go next line will be minus on that day not accumulated okay by some company they have uh, something like let's say we oh, want to minus the overtime if you don't want to accumulate when you got overtime minus no if we don't want that way you want that one it's special customized to pay for it all right you got people asking for that as well so bear in mind both applies huh? they mean this system means uh, let's say go over time then minus no over time then minus the word time on that day itself it's not on other day accumulate up all right go to that then you can break break you can minus the word time as well okay you got extra time and work time what this does it means by extra time and work time it means here uh, let's say your rest is 60 minutes then it will minus the work time Okay, you mean we'll come to extra. Extra, huh? let's say a person go for a uh, break, go for, let's say set 60 minutes, but the go for 100 minutes. 100 minutes. That means you have 40 minutes over. Okay, then the extra will minus up the 40 minutes. You will minus to your work time. Then how about auto? Alright, then come to auto. Auto. Auto, if you did. That one earlier was money the clocking and clock out. I mean for the red, the break. I mean the clock out and clock in means uh, for the break. When it comes to think auto, it means if you do clock out or in for the red, gonna break or rest, then the system will auto minus 60. Or auto minus 60. If you do clock, that will follow the how many times you Clock. Maybe I clock only take about 100 minutes to minus 100 minutes. If I clocking less than 60, how let's say I clock only 40 minutes, then it will minus only 40 minutes. Okay, bear in mind for that. 
and this one only get work, work time for those some workers that say want to work time on overtime then you will use this second break which can minus the overtime right some company have different way of doing now come to this last part for the fixed timetable fixed timetable we have what i call as round by or round value round up round value and round down okay Let's go one by one. Round now, very straightforward. That means there's no rounding at all. They go for the 12, 5 minutes, for the 6 minutes, 61 minutes, they will calculate 61 minutes well or bigger. Now come to round up. Round. Round up. In certain situations, let's say um let's say you say the rounding by here. Here. Okay, here by 5 minutes. Mostly people put 5 minutes. 5 minutes. It means let's say I work 43, then we'll go 45. It means multiplication. Let's say I work 61, then we'll go to 65. Alright, multiplication. Multiple by the means round out by every 5 minutes. You set this way. Alright. But how about let's say round down? Round down, quite straightforward. Hardly people use round up, mostly people round down. Mostly people round down. It means something like 5 minutes. Okay. Let's say here it's 43. Then we got 4. Sorry, if let's say 61, it comes 60. Okay, then let's say uh, uh 13, they will come to 10, something like this. Okay, there's another setting of this part as well, but uh, I do they only share this part. We are will show another way, not here. Okay, this is round down to give a rounding or the rounding. And another thing, uh, note please do take note OT rounding OT. OT rounding, sorry, OT rounding only applies to level OT level one. Okay, it's only applied to OT level one only. That's all. Okay, the setting on the rounding is only applied to OT level one as for now, not to OT level two. Right here, I mean OT level 2 or level 3, only to OT level 1 for your rounding. Please do take note about this. Okay, now let's go move on. Then another call round value. Okay, all the OT rounding here only applies to round OT level 1. Huh? Please take note. Okay, now come to round value. Okay, round value a bit tricky. It means that in the middle in the middle in the middle in the middle it's something like let's say uh 43 minutes will go to 45 then 42 it will go to 40. those so the system will evaluate in the middle which will be high after middle they will go to up lower the middle they will go to down okay then system will be based on the software to uh indicate where it go which way all right so this one called brown value okay this one up. So I wrap this up up. So for this, for this timetable, as for now, this is part I will go through for you all. I will come up another timetable, uh, another tutorial on the second timetable, right? But to see what the effect on others and how to assign the employee as well. Okay, as for now, only a fixed timetable. So thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Get your check time biometric system today. For more info, visit our website www.check-time.com.